you, Bo Ram. Oh, I'm so glad you could join me today in the spotlight. The Ace Foos. Ace Foos? Uh huh. AS 58A. For your cheap pleasure. Let's take a look. Now, this Ace Foos is actually a rebadged Rich Meters 113A. Oh, who would have thought? Shipped by Amazon for an El Cheapo price, under 20 bucks Canadian, around 15 bucks US. <laughs> Unfortunately, my Amazon shipment arrived a little worse for wear. Yeah, the um, tilt stand was broken. I'm not faulting the manufacturer on this one. The package was pretty mashed up, but hey, that's okay. We'll survive this review. Uh, as well, you're getting your test leads. These are pretty small, rated at maximum 10 amp, CAT to 600 volts all from my hands but at the end of the day not bad not bad how uh, they are standard pvc no silicone unfortunately um uh, pretty sharp tips if you look at the shrouding on the end yeah decent decent there nice and thick and deep and uh, yeah it's not going anywhere so uh solid we're connected also we got our digital multimeter instruction manual all in english and pretty verbose for a cheapo this is a pretty decent manual all the specs now this is not a spec multimeter I'm talking only 2000 count display i know Boring. <sighs> what anyway <clears throat> you know what it's cheap um 600 volts ac dc up to 20 mega ohm and it is manual ranging as well so not an auto ranging manual ranging meter Mm. One of the bonuses of this meter is the fact it is also true RMS. So under 20 bucks, you're getting a true RMS cheapo, 120.9 volts compared to that Sanwa 120.7. Uh, yeah, beauty. Fit and finish, this is pretty sweet actually. Has a nice rubberized membrane. Uh, it comes off fairly easily, but um, you know, overall plastics everything considering it's cheapo uh yeah like your rich meters quality it's very very good and one of the nice things as well look at the back we have that uh, magnetic inlay so you can plop this on anything uh metal surface what have you and it's gonna stick so hood of your car what have you um you know i wish more of these cheapos i wish any meter actually came with this magnetic backing because it really comes in handy as well has a really nice selector switch tactile um definitely got to be ball and spring it's not got lost between ranges just just hits those ranges with authority and overall i like it now it does beep at you and you do get that led visual when you're switching ranges but you know what not too shabby another cool feature is the fact that when you turn that backlight on hey it does not invoke a flashlight seeing that way too often these days in the cheaple realm hey I want a backlight, not a flashlight. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying. And of course, you can store your test leads in the back just like so, or perhaps you want to one hand it and do some probing. Well, away you go. Let's look at the selector switch starting off with volts DC up to 600 volts, resistance up to 20 mega ohm, diode and continuity, transistor mode, current DC up to 10 amps. Volts AC up to 600 volts. Non-contact voltage. Finally, the midnight or off position. At the top of the meter, we have two soft touch buttons. On the left, we have the hold. And on the right, we have our backlight, AKA flashlight. At the bottom of the meter, we have our high current input. On the left, in the middle, we have our common or ground. And on the right, we have our voltage resistance and low current milliamps. Here we are in low voltage. 5.00 is what we want to see with that 2000 count display. We're getting 5.02. Definitely in spec, this is plus or minus five counts. In resistance, looking at the accuracy, 100 ohm is what we want. 99.8, not too bad for a cheapo. Let's try one of these dreaded 0.5 ohm resistors. A lot of these cheapos have a problem. And coming up as 0.7 ohm, not too bad. And that was fast. Let's see if we have any resistance on those test leads. 
and we do 0.2 of an ohm. So subtract that and we just got 0.5 of an ohm. Hey, awesome. In diode mode now, now a lot of people get, you know, nervous with these manual meters. Don't know why, don't know why they're really not that. Ready, let's start off with the red LED. 1.7 voltage drop, nice stuff. Over to the green, mm, it's lit, but we don't have that forward voltage drop. Yellow, it is lit and a forward voltage drop, nice stuff. The unicorn, I like to call it. The white, nothing, the blue, nothing. Standard diode, yes. Good stuff. So, hey, not too bad. Illumination for three out of five. Forward voltage drop for two. Output voltage in dial mode, 2.2 volts. Next up, continuity. Here we go. Default stock test leads. Oh, yeah. It is scratchy. Scratchy, kind of latchy. And we have that nice visual continuity as well. I'm curious to try those probe masters. Probe Masters, this is a brand new set actually. Uh, let's try them out. Been using the other ones a lot the last few years. So I thought we'd uh, try a new set for the channel. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. You know, honestly, I don't see any difference at all with the Probe Masters. Hmm, let's see how loud it is. 78.7 decibels, maximum output volume in continuity. Hey, that's pretty loud. Right now we're in high current mode, sitting at 5.64 amps, coming in at 5.7. Let's bring it up. 10 amps, and now we have a high current alarm, which is excellent. Bring it back down. Now remember, this does DC amps only. It will not do AC amps. Okay, let's take a look on the inside now, shall we? Starting off with the reverse side. Yeah, we just have those battery contacts. That's it, that's all. No uh, shielding or anything else. Decent quality plastics. What more can you ask for? Now, the main crux. Ooh, let's get in deep, shall we? That is a fairly sweet looking PCB. For more awesome content, like and subscribe now. Right off the get though, you're gonna notice that there is no fuse here on the milliamp side. Instead, they used a poly fuse. I like this idea, I like it a lot. Probably the last two, three years, we're starting to see this become more and more uh, the norm in the cheapo realm. And I think it's a great idea. It's easy to blow, blow those milliamp fuses. And when you do, it's usually a pain to replace them. So here you go, easy breezy solution. Uh, these self reset after a couple of seconds and they can go on and off literally hundreds if not thousands of times before they go south. So great implementation. On the high current side, we have one glass fuse, 250 volt, 10 amp. Yes, it is a glass fuse. Would have been nice to see ceramic, but once again, we are in the cheapo zone. So yeah, split jack variety uh, inputs. They're okay. Nice big soldering blobs on them. So that's always a good thing. Two PTCs here. This is on the voltage side. And look at that. We don't have a current shunt. Instead, we have a current sensing resistor. Um, you know, once again, my mileage may vary. I guess that's okay. I do prefer a current shunt myself. If we move up a little bit here, um, look at the size of that NCV detection. Whoa, that thing is huge. In fact, let's take off this protective cover and uh, you can see that filament protrudes a lot from the uh, main PCB and wow, man, I love it. I love it. That is what I call NCV. There's the LED for the flashlight as well. Boy, that is uh, pretty long legs on that sucker. Main speaker over here. Um, not much else going Fabrication on. Fabrication date on this meter, December 23rd, 2021. So uh, definitely, you know, I'd say that's pretty recent. Flipping and the PCB around. around, no dielectric on those rotary tracks, none whatsoever. So I'll probably put a little dabby there just to uh, play it safe. Um, there is the transistor input, but uh, that's it. Nothing else on this side. Uh, if you take a look at those input jack soldering job here. So uh, yeah, I like what I see. On the other end, we have one, two, three, four, five uh, pads. That's what makes contact with these selector tracks. And look at that input switch as well, or I should say rotary selector switch. 
um, it is uh, kind of cool because the ball mechanism is actually inside the plastic. It's definitely a ball bearing mechanism, but I like the way they've sort of hidden the uh, springs and balls from, uh, you know, getting lost in transit, so to speak. Nice soft touch buttons over here. Zebra Daniel Elastomar for the display. And uh, yeah, that is about it. Also, uh, if you notice the display itself, protective plastic housing here, old white strip. So uh, yeah, just a little bit better than, you know, having it flopping around the meter. All in all, pretty decent. Hey, we're in the cheapo realm. I gotta say, I've seen a lot worse. Okay, let's put it back together. Come back with my closing thoughts. Asus AS58A. Oh yes, this is definitely worth its money in the cheapo realm. Inexpensive and performance is always a bonus. This one gives you both. So you're getting a good quality meter with that rich meters tradition reliability uh, in a basically no name that uh, at the end of the day doesn't really matter because you're getting a lot of bang for your cheapo buck. Some people don't like manual ranging meters for whatever reason. Hey, that's fine. If that's not your cup of tea, don't worry about it. But if you're in the manual mode where you'd like to learn how to use a meter per se, these are always great devices to learn on. Faster range, also accurate, and at the end of the day, this little multimeter gives you a lot of function. The ASFUS AS58A gets a solid 3.5 out of 5 stars. Thanks for watching this review, everybody. Till the next one, keep on testing. Okay, now we're gonna try some NCV with Olenka. Ready? Go for it, darling. Set. Just Go. like that. But 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 towards me, like we gotta keep it in the camera. That's it. But yeah, okay, that's it. Back and forth. Back. Yeah. Yeah. And back. Yeah. And yeah. So we're getting an L, which means it's kind of a low signal, a little more, a little more level. No, we'll straighten it up level. Please. Yeah, that's it. There we go. There we are. Back and forth now. Oh, yeah. And. Okay. I'm going to give it a pass. What do you think? Good? What's this LCB? No, NCB. Non-contact non voltage. Okay. More <sighs>